Insects are the most diverse group of animals on planet Earth. Over 90% of animal life form on planet Earth are insects. While there are many insects that damage our crops, there are few insects that help in food production. Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'll be covering top five beneficial insects you must have in your garden. Now, insects usually get a bad rap because they eat our plants, such as aphids, spider mites, cabbage worms, and caterpillars. However, there are insects that actually help in pollination, make fertilizer, and there are predatory insects that actually help get rid of aphids and other insects that eat our plants. Here's a disclaimer. I shot much of this video using a macro lens, so if you do not happen to like insects, I do not recommend watching this video. Listen to this video instead. However, I spent six months gathering all the footage I need to make this video. So if you happen to like bugs, you will enjoy this show. So let's get started. Number one, ladybugs. Ladybugs are natural predators of unwanted pests and bugs in the garden. Ladybugs can feed on 50 different unwanted pests, including aphids, mealybugs, and scale bugs. Ladybugs live for about one year, and one ladybug can eat up to 5,000 aphids in its lifetime. Ladybugs vary in color. Some are orange without spots and some are red with spots. Spots are a warning sign for other predatory insects and birds to keep their distance. You can even buy ladybugs from a hardware store to add to your garden or attract ladybugs. Ladybugs also feed on pollen from flowers, so plant a lot of flowers to attract ladybugs to your garden. Ladybugs are nature's wonder, as they can migrate thousands of miles. Unlike migratory birds, ladybugs don't gather to migrate in large masses. They migrate alone and somehow find the same place to gather year after year. Number two, lacewings. Lacewings are another predatory insect that help to get rid of pests and bugs from the garden, including aphids, spider mites, and flies. Lacewings have clear lace-like wings, which is the reason for their name. Lacewings live as a larva for three weeks and as an adult for six weeks and can eat up to 100 aphids per week. Aphids are the most common pests in the garden and they suck plant juice out of the leaves and stems of plants. Ants even farm aphids just like we farm goats and cows. As aphids suck the juices from the plants, ants feed on the dew produced by the aphids. You can get rid of these insects using pesticides. Now the top three reasons I promote organic gardening and I do not use pesticides at all in my garden is number one, I do not want to ingest pesticides. Number two, I do not want to contaminate our water supply with pesticides. And number three, pesticides are indeterminate. They will kill all insects and I do not want to kill those beneficial insects. Both ladybugs and lacewings help to get rid of aphids. Number three, spiders. Spiders can be scary and sometimes harmful to humans such as black widows. However, many garden spider species are harmless and very beneficial in gardens. Spiders get rid of aphids, caterpillars, beetles, and create webs to catch fruit flies, common flies, beetles, and a lot of other flying insects that harm our plants. Spiders can also occasionally catch some beneficial insects in their webs as well. However, their benefits usually outweigh the downsides. There are other predatory insects that are also very beneficial in the garden, such as praying mantis, beetles, and wasps. However, I wanted to cover the ones that are easy to manage and attract to your garden. Number four, earthworms. Earthworms are called farmer's friends. Earthworms turn the dead leaves and organic matter to nutrient-rich worm castings. There are thousands of different species of earthworms. Red wigglers is one of the species of earthworms that is most commonly used in gardening because they are composting superheroes and they do very well in confined spaces. Earthworms can eat half their body weight in food in one day. 10 pounds of earthworms can create 5 pounds of worm castings in one day. Worm castings contain live enzymes and nutrients much needed by plants and very valuable in organic gardening. Number 5. Honeybees. Bees are probably the most important insects for food production and survival of human species. Standing ovation also goes to hoverflies that pollinate flowers as well. However, bees do all the heavy lifting. One third of world's food production depend on pollination by bees. Almonds, cherries, oranges, and hundreds of other species of plants and trees would not be able to pollinate and reproduce without bees. All of world's almond production depend on bees. Without bees, almond production would grind to a halt. The survival of almond farms depend on the survival of bees. Bees go flower to flower to pollinate and collect nectar. One beehive can contain 50,000 bees and each bee can travel up to 5 miles or 7 kilometers from their hive to find flowers and collect nectar. 
However, one bee only produces one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey, which is less than one gram of honey in its lifetime. One hive collectively on other hand can produce an average of 70 pounds or 30 kilograms of honey in one year, and in doing so, pollinate over 140 million flowers. Bees have remained unchanged for 20 million years because of their physical characteristics and life cycle which is very fine-tuned and interesting to learn. Unfortunately, bees are under threat because of excessive use of pesticides on crops. With so much dependent on bees, we must do everything we can to save the bees. We have to protect our future and ensure the survival of our future generations. The well-being of future depends on what we do today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you joined the force to save the bees. Much of our food production all around the world depends on the survival of the bees. So we must make sure the bees survive for the sake of our future generations. Hit the subscribe button if you like the video and I'll see you in another video.